Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is November November 5th, 2025. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report and the YouTube channel. We want to get our YouTube subscribers caught up with our newsletter subscribers. I think we're doing uh, two days in a row here, so um, that's something new. <laughs> okay, let me uh, get right to it here. Um, market close report was just published. There's our uh, auto trade systems, and they're doing quite well. Uh, get you guys through this. Uh, the developer is me. Use uh, triggers and targets as the name of the system. Use Fibonacci extensions and ratios and Elliott waves. The um, trading, the money management system is the Ryan Jones fixed ratio money management. It limits our losses to 5% and maximizes our gains. It's uh, important to have a trading system. It's more important to have a money management system. And even more important than that is to have the discipline to stay within those systems. Okay. There are people who don't have the systems and they fail in 80% of most 80% of accounts that stop trading do so because they run out of money and there are people who have systems and then don't have the discipline to stay within the system that's why military people and gamblers make the best traders because they know how to stay in a system okay how does it work you open a futures trading account with striker they are a securities broker i am not there is their contact information there okay and um, you can get a hold of them and do any one or more than one of these um, systems here we do financials which is the 10-year bond or 10-year treasury notes we'll get into that the e-minis and the micro e-minis okay and here's our trades they've gotten so many that i can't fit them on one page so i'm going to start condensing this or just not list so many but this is going back to uh september 15th and through today november 5 right there we're right at about 9,000 net realized gain for all those, okay? Uh, you can contact, again, there's William Gallus, Striker Securities, and uh, we recently broke into the top 10. We're moving up the list. Now we're at number 9, and um, we're going to continue climbing here, okay? The advantage of that is on the auto trades, you don't have to sit there and watch the markets and charts all day. I do that, okay? So anyway, there's our disclaimer, and do we want to get, uh, well... Let me just scroll through there. All right, we'll just do it. Four, uh, four days, four consecutive direct hits, two on the upside, two on the down. And that's not counting the direct hit on the all-time high on October 29th, okay? We got the uh, wave three low here within um, two points. We got the wave four high within one and a quarter points. We got the larger degree wave three low here within three and three quarters points. And then we caught today, we caught that wave four high within four and a quarter, okay? So, um, yeah, we've got two to the downside, two to the upside. Um, we're not just always bullish or always bearish. We're looking for the turning points in our Elliott waves and Fibonacci ratios are a huge benefit, obviously, okay? Because the market's hitting those targets. You can see the 1.618 here, the 1.618 here. 50% retrace here, 618 retrace there, okay? There's our wave five targets where five equals one at 6652.50 and the 1.618 is 6525.75. Okay, uh, obviously, where is it wrong? Well, this should not go above that all-time high, okay? Then this could be uh, counted a couple different ways, but 69... 53.75 is our make or break. Where is it wrong? Okay, where is it right? We're going to move below the wave three low of 67.48.50. That tells us that wave four up is over and wave five down is in play. And again, there are those targets. Okay, and there's Monday's direct hit. Okay, on the 16.8. That's right here. Tuesday's direct hit, 68.49. That's right here the wave four okay Wednesday's direct hit was the 67 oh I didn't put that actual in there 67 57 75 bear with me 
57.75. This is so fresh, I haven't even finished all the editing. There we go. Okay, and then uh, Thursday's hit was today. It was on the 618 retrace within, that's at that 68.57.75 up here. Okay, so we've got four consecutive days, two ups, two downs. We're hitting on both sides, up and down. We're catching every turn. And that's why our uh, auto trades is doing well. Okay, and that's the information here. I'm just Shall we go for five in a row? Five days in a row? Why not, right? Um, again, can't guarantee that wave five will only take one day. We'll see. Um, but regardless, there's the targets, okay? And the move below... That 67.48 low indicates that four down is complete. And I'm sorry, four up is complete. Five down is in play. And that's back here, right there at that low. When that low is taken out, that wave three low is taken out to the downside. We know wave four is complete and wave five is in play. And again, there are our targets. Okay, uh, what else do we have here? That's all the same verbiage. Oh, the steps needed to confirm a change in trend. We've been doing this every day for many months, maybe even a year. But we haven't seen anything, at least since the April low. And here are those patterns, or those steps, if you will. Five ways down, we got that. Three ways up to a lower high, achieved. Five ways down to a lower low, that's wave three. And then after wave three down, we need to see a rise higher than wave four below the wave one low. Then we need to see wave five down. This is where it usually fails. Okay, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, there's our long-term, short-term, intermediate-term positions. Until we see a change in trend, our positions are long against those lows. Okay, there's the short-term low. There's the intermediate term low, and there's the long term low. Okay, um, these spirals have been catching lows, and the next low, if the spiral is to continue, is scheduled for January 11th. Okay, you can see that there's kind of broken up here. Let me do this for you guys so you can see it all at once. Enter. There we go. Okay, so that's the next one. Circuit breakers in there, but we don't need to see those. I want to show you guys the uh, charts here real quick. If we can get into those. Okay, let's get the ES 10 minute. And then we'll get into those bonds if you guys are interested in that. We're doing really well with that. Okay, here's our ES. And there's that same chart you saw. There's that direct hit on the all-time high back here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, and four, and then there's five. Okay, we don't need to reiterate that too much, but let's get into this uh, ZN here. This is what we're trading in the uh, financials, which is the U.S. 10-year Treasury note. Okay, let me see if I can get all this in here. Let's look at the uh, hourly, and then we'll flip it down to a 10-minute, which is what we do our day trading on. Okay, you can see that triangle there, A, B, C, D four and then five there was our target and it came within a couple ticks from 30.5 to 02 32 makes a point okay so it's one and a half yeah, about three hit three ticks if you will okay so we got a one down the two was 786 within wave three we had a 618 retrace we had an abc for wave four and here we are looking at wave five down okay from that um move up right here let me get this to uh, let me get out of that. Let me get this to a 10 minute. And there's our 10 minutes. And we're going to make this a little bigger so we can see what the heck's going on. Okay. From that ABC correction, we have one down, a two up. And you can see the internal wave count of wave three. Um, yeah, this is kind of tiny, but uh, one down in parentheses, two up three down it went to basically a 1.618 or one to one let me see one two and there's there yes between the 1618 and the 2618 it could still extend okay but again i learned um elliott wave by charting doing a wall chart in my basement way back in the 
mid nineties and uh couldn't see five waves up or down. I thought, boy, this Elliott wave stuff's for the birds, uh doesn't show anything. After months of charting, it worked out to be a triangle, a long sideways fourth wave triangle, which they are by definition. So the first pattern I learned by accident, by mistake, or by luck was a fourth wave. And they're so easy to spot. They're long and sideways. So you can see you can see an ABC, ABC, ABC. So this may not be done yet. But these red marks are the fourth wave Fibonacci retracement targets for this 10-year U.S. Treasury note futures. And the 382 is there. These are small. I'll read them out. 112.14. And then we've got uh, 112.15, 112.16 and a half. Okay. So that's what we're looking at. This four is probably still in play. I'm going to throw it up here. So we've got an AB. Let's just make that bigger for you guys. Okay. Here's what we have so far. Let me get the A, B, C, D, E. It's the fourth wave. It could just be an A, B, C. We don't know yet. There's the A. It's three up. There's the B. There's the C. Let's make that the correct degree of trend. Degree, degree. There it is. Minuscule. And wasn't paying attention. And the D's and E's went somewhere. I don't know where the A, B, C... Well, there's an ABC so far, okay? And that would be the E up there. And where did the D go? Is that it there? There it is. Took off on me, okay? Looks like it's shaping up as a flat bottom and a descending top. We'll do that here. Let's get that uh, trend line on it. You can see the descending top. I'm going to make that a different color so it doesn't... Uh, mix in with the retrace targets which are red so we'll make this uh, black there we go and then the bottom of the triangle is flat so we'll put that bottom trend line in it's right there on that make it straight there we go so that's what we're looking at there so this E would actually go down here and this D well it hasn't happened yet we'll get it a D and an E. And by the way, a lot of times what you'll get is a throw under or a throw over in wave E. Okay, so wouldn't be surprised if we got one because they're fairly common. But it, it, it moves above that trend line right here. That would be a call. That'd be called a throw over. And that's just to fake everybody out. They're always up to tricks, right? So they throw it up here and the people looking at the at the uh, trend line are like, oh, it's it's over. It's going up. No surprise. That's the E-wave throw over, and here comes wave five. So don't fall for their tricks. It's it's fairly common. Get the throw over and a throw under. So we'll be aware of that while we're trading, which will be opening in about 10 minutes here for the uh, futures and everything. So let's uh, leave you guys with uh, the this guy here and... This here, that's the operating uh, wave count on the uh, ES futures. Okay, we'll see how this unfolds. And we're at the point where we're on those steps where this fails. So if this goes up, um, it'll fail where, where most of them have as the trend is still up. It'll fail on this um, fourth step right here. Okay, so we'll see what happens. We're prepared either way. We're ready for up or down, as you can see by the direct hits. Okay, that's it for this time. Until next time. Take care, everyone.